Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. Next on the channel, we've got some tips and tricks for guitarists, bedroom bands, one-man bands out there who are trying to create something a bit more different, something a bit technical, a bit chaotic, a bit mathcore, a bit grindcore, that kind of vibe. Um, but they want to get their ideas down and start creating, but they can't necessarily play these type of riffs straight off on the guitar, um, but they still want to get their ideas down. Now, what do I mean by this? Let's get Mixcraft on the screen. Okay, um, what I mean by this is you've got an idea in your head, you're humming along to it, you've got a technical drum beat in your head which you've beatboxed along to and you want to get this idea down, okay? You can't necessarily play the riff on the guitar straight away, it's something a bit technical that you don't know how to do straight off, so you can't record the uh, guitar straight away, so how are we going to get this idea started? The way I found to do it is you just hum it and beatbox it into the mic, it's a bit cringy, but you'll have to deal with that, um, and you, you're going to get something that sounds like this. This is an idea that I just came up with before the video, let's see what it sounds like. Okay, just something like that. It's not too technical, but it's not necessarily something you might be able to play straight away on the guitar tightly and be able to do a recording of. So we've got this. Record it nice and loud into the mic so that you get these big spikes in the waveform because what we're going to do is use these spikes to set up our drums. Now the drum program that I use is the Kurt Ballou Signature Series. It's a very, very nice drum kit um, program. I'll probably do a separate video on this, uh, but all you need to know is it's very, very nice. We're gonna use this to set up our MIDI drums. And what we're gonna to wanna to do now is where we've got these spikes on the waveform, they're gonna kind of show us as a template of where we're gonna to wanna to put our drum beats. So I'll just repeat it again. When we're listening along to this, you're going to want to figure out where on here now and we're going to want the, the bass drums we want at the start. Okay, so we're going to want bass drums there. So then you can start to go into your um, MIDI drums and start putting in those bass drums. So there you can see we've got our bass drum. And I've put them in there. Now we've got the dig da doom bits, and what I've done for there is a snare. So if we start to listen to our drum beat along with the, uh, the spikes that we've got here, you'll see that I'm following the spikes with the drums just to get a drum beat down. Just some a bit different on the end there to make it a bit spicy. Put your cymbals in with the bass drums suddenly start to get a drum beat together um, that you can now then use the drum beat to follow along um, and you'll get a bit more context with the, how it's going to sound with the guitars and things like that. So we've finished with that now. We don't need to use any more of our voice. That's good. We've stopped listening to that. And now we've just got our drum beat. And from here, you can use this drum beat to start putting your guitars down because you've got a nice tight drum beat. It's always going to be in time. Uh, it's like playing along to a click track almost, and you can use the drum beat and the way that the drums sound to dictate how you're going to start writing your guitar riff now. So you can get your guitar out, start jamming along with the drum beat, just have it looping round and round. Then you're going to want to get that down, ding a ding a ding, down, ding a ding a ding. I know it's cringe, guys, but there you go. This is how you do it. And we're going to want to get some in with the guitars. So I've done a recording. This is just the, the one track for now. I just sat at the guitar, jammed along with the drum beat, jammed along with my original idea, and just tried to get the guitars to follow the drum beat. Do another copy of the guitars to double track them. And suddenly, we've got something that sounds pretty hardcore, grindcore, mathcore type of beat. We'll repeat this a few times in the mix, and there you go, you've got a nice little riff. Then you'd, what you'd want to do now is once you're happy with that, you could maybe record the bass as well if you wanted to, um, or if you're just a guitarist and you want to get more ideas down, just follow the process again. Record yourself on the mic with an idea, use this waveform to try and get 
an idea of where the drums are going to go. Get your drums down, loop your drums, and then jam out on your guitar until you come up with a riff that follows the drums, that goes nicely with the drums, and there you go. And if you start doing that in sections, one riff at a time, not thinking too far into the song, just doing one riff at a time, you'll start to come up with a very technical, chaotic, uh, offbeat, interesting type of track, kind of grindcore, mathcore type of stuff. Uh, I don't know how the, if this is how other bands come up with this, just something I found out myself, um, because with mathcore and stuff like that, it's so chaotic and technical, you can't often think so many steps ahead um, so that you can just jam it straight away on the guitar. What this is, is a methodical approach to the music, one riff at a time, one beat at a time, and then once you've got that locked in, you can move on to the next step. Uh, and once you've done this kind of 10 or 12 times, and you've slotted them all together, you've got a really technical, wacky, crazy track that there was no way you were gonna to start to play that straight out on the guitar. So there you go, guys. I hope that was useful for you. Um, nice little tips and tricks that I've found to come up with this kind of music um, and start to piece together quite a technical track. Hope that was good for you guys. See you around. Bye.